David Curtis, teaching professional here at the Western Mission Hills Golf Resort. A couple ideas to hit that great bunker shot. As we get set up to the golf ball, we want to make sure that we open the club face before we grip. So this is what it should look like. We put our hands on there. I feel like I have a little bit more of a weaker grip or a neutral grip here in the, in the setup. Why? Well, because that's going to help me expose the bounce of the golf club. When I get set up to the ball, I want to make sure that the ball position is more to the lead side of my body where I can actually hit a couple inches behind the ball. So really, I'm still hitting in the same point that I would on grass. It's just now the ball is a lot more forward. I like to widen my stance to get me lower into the ground, have a little bit of weight to the left. That's totally fine. Now, here's the kind of the key kind of mechanic here. When we get set up, the shaft of the club should be fairly neutral or even a little bit back. As I make a golf swing, I am hinging my wrist. But on the downswing, I want to make sure that I get the club head to slap the sand. So I, you know, I never want to feel like I'm dragging that handle in or forward because that's going to take away my bounce. So let's say if I can get the head of the golf club to hit the sand first, really this is the only time you want to kind of create this type of impact position if you want to float the ball higher and land it softer. Okay, so a bunker shot, a pitch shot, this would be kind of the same, the same type of feel. So let's take a look. Get set up to it. Hinge wrist, unhinge wrist. And we'll create that nice slapping sound where there's no golf ball whatsoever first. So sand, ball splashes out, all because I'm using the bounce of the golf club correctly. My setup is correct which will always expose the bounce to the sand first. All right, you guys, work on that idea. You'll be an expert out of the bunker. David Curtis signing off from the lesson team.